two videos in one day? Yes, indeed. Here's another beat breakdown for regular schmegular. <laughs> I can't believe I called it that. <laughs> I had some technical difficulties. We finally fixed it. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. If you're new again, welcome to the channel. We love you all. My name is Kamala Keen, and in this one, I'm going to break down regular schmegular. All right, in the beginning, when I was making regular Schmegler, I think I started off with the drums and I spaced them out really easily just so that way I can like mix and master them and EQ them the way I wanted to. So right here we have the drums. Pretty simple and along with it, I have like a light, light tom pop for it instead of having a snare. I just thought it sounded pretty cool for the beat. And it's going with the higher notes they're coming up and then coming back down slowly right there. And then you know just a normal hi hat pattern, nothing too crazy. Yeah, you know, nothing too crazy for it. Um, for it in the intro, also, I have this chord progression using again Waves E piano. Uh, this one I have on there just an arpeggiator. I don't know exactly which preset I have it on, but it's just an arpeggiator, so it just adds a little cool, like a little melody effect to it. Just add them all together, you know. Let's get this. Next on this one, this is where like you know everything comes in together. And I just have this chord progression right here from complete control. And I'm using let's see what I'm using an e-piano from them. A lot of vibrato in there. And same for chord progression, you know, just for everything else. Again, another e-piano from Waves. This one doesn't have the arpeggiator on it. For people wondering, here's the chord progression. Again, chord progression again <laughs> from Massive. And then last but not least, I have a boom sub sample on here. Not a sample, but it's just a boom sub bass. I don't know where I thought the sample from. I had some, again, EQing on there, a warm tube from a saturator, and another. I think it's. I think that one is a compressor. That is honestly one of my favorite. Based on that I've made so far, I thought it was really cool. Um, I didn't play it out, I clicked it in, but I thought it was just really cool how that was made. Um, all in all, this is pretty easy and pretty simple. Uh, the reason why I call it regular schmegular, um, beside from me just making a goofy name, um, to me it just sounds like a regular lo fi beat. I think, ironically, it doesn't, but to me, I thought it seemed pretty on the nose for lo-fi hip-hop so like we just listen to everything come in i thought like you 
know, it just, it works. Honestly, at first, when I had the drum before I put it on there, I had the kick, and I think I didn't change the EQ, so it was just going to be like down here. The one that I'm moving right now, it was, it was just going to sound so dry. I'm like, listen to this. I think I like lowered the boom or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty dry. dry drier than a box of saltine crackers. I, I don't know. I'm not good with metaphors. You know what I'm saying? Metaphors and similes. But it is not dry anymore. It's got the boom. It's got the bounce. It's got everything you need. Now it sounds like this. As I'm just staring the camera and nodding my head. But all in all, it's a very quick and easy process of how I made this one. I think I made the chords first and I added like all that little stuff on there. Also, if you hear music playing in the background, that I'm watching Cowboy Bebop. But all in all, that is it. It's just chords, layering on chords, on chords, all the same. A quick drum beat in the bass line. Really all you need is some music. Maybe a melody, maybe vocals, I guess, if you want to be that person. Uh, I'm not going to prolong this any more than it should be. <laughs> that is how I made regular Schmegular. That's the third beat into this 100-day beat. Not even just beat making, but music making challenge that I gave myself. Please, y'all, please check it out on SoundCloud if y'all can. Please check out my other music on Spotify. I'll put more music out on Spotify. It'll come out sooner than later. If y'all enjoyed this, please let me know. If y'all want to see me do tutorials, more breakdowns, me making a beat, I'd be happy to make those kind of videos and show them out here, help out anybody in the music producer community, or just for y'all just want to watch something, something new, something different. Thanks. One love. Peace out. Bye.